Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 4 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Skyblock. Uh, today, jumping into uh, probably Batania, I think. Uh, so I've been kind of flipping through the quest book because I'm curious as to where to go next. Uh, there's a few places, you know, we could we could head towards. Um, you know, we could we could look towards going towards the Nether. Um, we could get some Nether bricks. We probably want to get a little occultism stuff going on. That'll get a soul sand as well. Um, but I think my what I'd like to prioritize. One of the first things I always like to prioritize, to be honest with you, is getting some kind of digital storage because. I've gotten so spoiled with applied energistics and refined storage that like I, it's very hard for me anymore to have like a non-digital storage system. Like having it all together is super great. Now, in fairness, I could absolutely go this route, right? The the modular storage thingy. Um, but I think what I'll probably do is just, you know, kind of beeline for applied energistics. Now it does look like both refined and AE2 are in the pack, however, they both require uh, Certus Quartz Dust to get started. I think I'm going to go the AE2 route, though, because I went refined storage in my last Let's Play series, and I like to, you know, change it up. That said, um, in order to get Certus Quartz Dust, we are going to need Mana Meshes. So the only way that we're going to progress um, in this pack is to go through um, uh, Batania, I believe. So the Mana Mesh needs a Mana Steel. Uh, we could get an Amethyst Mesh, but we need a Mana Steel Mesh to make an Amethyst Mesh. And that's the only meshes that exist beyond the, the basic andesite one that I have. Uh, and I believe mana mesh is a little bit better um, all around. Um, I haven't quite figured out um, the purpose of amethyst meshes, I don't think. Uh, you know, if we look at like sand, for example, right? Uh, or let's use let's use dust as an example. If I look up the usages of dust, was I reading this correctly yesterday? Mana steel and then amethyst, right? Oh, so this one, so amethyst does give you a little bit better stuff with amethyst. It gives you sky stone and that's about it. It gives you access to sky stone. I think everything else is the same. What about gravel? Was that, um, was that a thing? Amethyst and mana steel. Or is it andesite and mana steel? Andesite and mana steel look about the same. Amethyst does give you some fluorite and uranium stuff, but andesite and mana steel look the same for gravel. See, pretty identical. Even the even the percentages match identically. As I bounce back and forth here, you'll see everything kind of matches up. So mana steel and andesite are the same for gravel. Uh, but that said, dust. It looks like we need to get um, mana steel in order to get access to Certus quartz. Okay over over andesite it'll also give us access to cinnabar and that looks like about it okay that's fair so certus quartz we need mana steel so we're going to want to work towards that today which means jumping into batania so i started looking at this and i was like all right well step one get some flowers click a click hey wait dry grass hey wait vivid glass boo these two types of grass uh do not grow any flowers with bone meal so we need regular old vanilla grass uh so that said i've got some dirt it might not be a bad idea um, to get more dirt going on here. So let's do that. Um, where, pray tell, might I find some dirt? Uh, in the getting started chapter, it said I can get placing compost or rich soil under a material generator slowly yields an infinite supply of dirt, useful for sifting or growing. Alupia spawned, where? Oh, hello friend. You are super trapped under there, aren't you? I mean, that's cool. Fence, please. I'm not sure if I'm going to want this loopy hanging out, but I guess we'll try it. Uh, let's get that lead. Um, what if I were to stick you here? You get out of there? Maybe? Is that a cool, cool idea? All right, Loopy, hook me up. Oh, hey, speaking of Batania, this bee must have been reading my mind. Hello, Batania. How are you? Thank you, bee. That was very kind of you. That was exceedingly kind, actually. 
Was there an egg there that just disappeared or despawned? I can't tell. I guess the bee is done dropping things now. I don't know if he was dropping stuff under here. He might have been. Possible. But I got a couple of Batania flowers, so that's cool. That, um... Well, it's unexpected. Also, I handed in a bunch of quests between episodes. Uh, so does that mean that I just completed uh, this chapter? Oh, yeah, it does. Nice. All right, so flower pouch and fortune cookie. Uh, and then I get some floral fertilizer and a floral or obedience stick. Sweet. Uh, I don't think I need that at the moment, but I will hang on to the floral fertilizer because that'll be nice. That'll that will make my life a lot easier in a moment. Uh, and then also the, uh, the, the flower pouch is also super convenient. In fact, I could probably put my mystical white flowers in there and that would be neato and then we'll let that bee hang out maybe at some point i'll do something with him cool so uh what i was getting at was number one we should look at doing some kind of you know dirt thing so let's do that um so in getting started we've got the dirt chapter right dirt making blocks uh so i can go with organic compost which is going to be straw tree bark bone meal and dirt i think i can get that um or rich soil, which I'm not quite sure how to get. Organic compost turns into rich soil? Okay. So, compost or rich soil. So let's do the compost, because that looks straightforward enough. Uh, I know I'm going to need a couple of you. Right? And then I just need four tree bark, which I think is an axe. Did I see that correctly? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I smelted up enough of these to get an axe. And that could be cool. And then that axe. Can I just right click you to get the bark? Or no? No, I think I have to. I think I have to do is put this on here and that'll get me bark yeah that's what's up sweet look at my inventory being full as usual okay so that's four bark and in total I needed or three bark and in total I needed four so one more There we go. And then I'm gonna put away some of this nonsense that I don't super duper need. Because boy is my inventory a mess as usual, but I'll eat this fortune cookie. See, look, the human pancreas can take only so many Twinkies. That's good advice, I suspect. Okay, so you, and then now you can make organic compost and that should be cool. And the question is, do I want to make another pedestal um, or, you know, how do I want to do that? So right now what I've done is I've swapped this one from cobble to gravel. Um, what I learned about pedestals, by the way, is the order that you click them in seems to be the priority. So by making this the first one I clicked, so like I, I bound this one first and bound this one second, it seems to always try to insert here first, but this is filtered on flint. This one doesn't have a filter, but it never tries to put, you know, it always tries to put like gravel in here. It fails because of the filter and then it goes here as a second. So I avoided having to make another filter, which is kind of cool. That's, you know, see, it just put flint over there and, you know, right into the, so that's neat. Uh, do I want to make another pedestal real quick just to get, you know, some infinite dirt making might not be a terrible idea. Or uh, I could say I've got enough gravel for the moment and uh, what I'll do is just replace this gravel. How about I do that? Yeah, I like that plan. Um, so what I'll do is I will make another functional storage dude. I might have an extra because I was making some things. Uh, I thought I had an extra. I may not have an extra. Okay, I don't. Not a problem. Okay, you're about to be my dirt drawer. So what I'm going to do is break you. And then we remove you. Put 
the empty drawer there, put the gravel drawer there, and then put the dirt here. And now you're making dirt. Cool? Easy peasy. No need to overcomplicate things. We've got, you know, almost 1.4 thousand gravel. Uh, we're doing pretty close on sand. Uh, as you can see, I've been uh, processing a lot of that already. I, you know, ran a lot of it through uh, a lot of the machines, so. And then I've been processing my metals a little bit. And then speaking of osmium, maybe not a bad idea. There's no trash can in this pack is what I've noticed, which is very, you know, something. But I'll make myself a nice quick osmium sword and pickaxe, right? Osmium paxel too, that might not be a bad approach. You think it'll let me use the... It, it, it apparently does. So that works for me. All right, cool. Neat O. All right, and then the Paxil, I think, works as a hoe, right? So I probably don't need a hoe no more. Uh, I'll probably hang on to my knife, and that's good for now. Cool. So back to making uh, grass for our bone mealing. What I need to do is I decided I'm going to make a charging gadget, and I'm going to make... A building gadget. So a charging station. Oh, did I put my iron away? So charging station, check. Building gadget, check. Sweet. And that is a quest, by the way. And then you can have, uh, I guess, some charcoal. It's not going to be a lot, though. I have, in fairness, been using a lot of coal to smell things. Might be enough for now. Cool. And then you can go away, and you can go away. Looking not too terrible. Okay. Does this thing ever use up this durability on this on this tool? I honestly have no idea. Now, you're all nice and charged, which is cool, and a little bit of extra buffer power. Sweet. Okay, now let me mess with my controls, because I always like keybind F to be my gadget key. All right, so you can anchor with G, and you can settings menu with F. So what's G conflict with? Ars Nouveau head curio menu? No. Open and close Curios inventory, I have a thing for that. Toggle hover mode, maybe I'll consider that. Um, I'll probably usually make that something like, that I'm rarely gonna hit, because I always like hover mode on. I almost never want, you know, hover mode off. I mean, that works for me. Any other Fs? Usually not, because it's a vanilla hockey. But, it, you know, when I made this mod, it wasn't a vanilla hockey. I think, but I want an F for me. That's what I like personally. Cool. All right, so now we can build out, um, you know, something cobbly. All right, so you're gonna build out, uh, how about we do a horizontal column? Uh, not place on top. Yeah, we can bump the range out pretty good. Do we want to do it over here? I'm thinking over here. That should be cool, right? And then, what if we just expanded it like this? Okay, and then from here, we'll just do, do we have any like regular dirt here? That's pretty close. But now we have almost two stacks of dirt ready to go. Nice, okay. Now I should be able to throw my pasture seed in the middle and it should start spreading. Cool. And then we can light things up. Oh good, F, F, F7 is a thing. 
And I did not math out anything about the size of this area, so I have no idea. It looks off to me, but I can fix that. I like this Paxel. Beautiful. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah. And then we can bone meal the grass here to get regular grass, or, or, or regular, you know, seeds and flowers, which might be how I get occultism, because one of the things I want to do was get the occultism crop, and uh, there's no recipe for it. So I'm assuming that I just bone meal and get demon seeds that way. Yeah. Uh, we just need to wait for the grass to spread. I would like it to be, you know, fully spread here. Uh, if that's not too much of an ask. That looks pretty good to me. All right, back in a sec once that's done spreading. All right, so handing in quests, I got a Fluix hoe, which is an interesting thing. Uh, and I apparently got some mycelium spores at some point, so this will let me get mycelium Ooh, and some food and moss blocks. Sweet. Uh, so I'll stick, I'll stick the dirt in the drawer just to make that life easier. And uh, the moss block can go away. The mycelium spores can go in there because I'm gonna treat them kind of like all this stuff. Uh, that's just about where I'm throwing things for now. And the fluid so I have no idea where I'm gonna use that. So I'm not. <laughs> so just still waiting on uh, a little bit. This is too much food. I can't eat all this food right now. It's a waste of an awesome meal. All right, so let's start with some regular bone meal and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Totally found demon seeds. Nice. Okay, cool. Am I crazy or am I not getting any flowers? Is it because we're in an ocean biome? That could be the case. That could totally be the case. Is this all ocean biome? Now we got some planes over here. So that's cool. I'm wondering if I should make a quick five by five of grass over in this plains biome. Might be smart, right? Because because the flowers you get are biome specific, aren't they? Am I remembering that correctly? I feel like that's a thing. We can do a quick five by five or seven by seven here, and that would be cool. So what if we popped you there? Okay. And then we had a range of, if I put seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it includes that one. So we want eight, right? That was some very quick spreading, I'm just saying. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Perfect. Because part of what I was after was flowers, right? So if it happens to be that I'm in a ocean biome, I think that's going to be a challenge for me. Now, I should, however, be able to do my floral fertilizer over here. And I've only got a little bit, so we'll see how lucky I get with it. Now, they should have all popped into the flower pouch. Uh, so where did I land with everything? Do I have one of each? I did get lucky. I got one of each. Look at that. I got one of every flower type. How lucky is that? I would call that exceedingly lucky. I would call that very, very lucky. Cool. All right. Now, in addition to that, I thought it would be cool to come over here and... Oh, that makes dirt paths. Oh, I still do need a hoe, don't I? Oh, that's annoying.
and then we'll get some of these demon dream dudes so that we can get uh, the, the purple fire that can get a soul sand. Deal? Alright, so now with all the flowers cool, we can probably start with a little Batania. So, uh, first things first, we know we're going to need some more of these. And we usually need a lot of them, so... And you no longer need shears for them, which is cool. And as a reminder, they also go into your pouch if you have one. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to need a Petal Apothecary uh, and all that stuff. So, Petal Apothecary. Good to go. And then we should also get a 2x2 two two of water. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, that spot over there, is that where I should be doing things? Or, I don't know. I haven't really planned this all out. Do I look like a guy with a plan? So I guess my first question would be, uh, can I place these flowers on this grass, right? So if I got one, two, three, four, and boom. Yes, I can plant on dry or vivid glow grass. Well, that's good to know. Okay, cool. Um, I should consider like expanding the island and how I'm going to build and do all that stuff, but we'll figure that out. For now, I'll just use this as my Batania area to get started. Um, just because, you know, we need to get started, right? So then another bucket, please. An empty hand click. Nope, too late. There's like a delay um, if you're too slow. So there, that's sounds cool. Now I'm going to need more wood and I will probably also need smelted smooth well not smooth stone but stone because minecraft went and renamed a thing on me and dyer's brain can't keep up with that kind of thing oh also i got an artifact i got fire gauntlets they go on your hands causes the fire's melee or the wearer's melee attacks to deal fire damage meh i mean cool um what happened was i was just standing here and a mimic spawned and it looks like a chest and it attacked me and that's what happened. And that's the end of the story. I was AFK, uh, you know, not AFK, but like not recording at the time. One thing I wish is that the, the, the flower pouch here could hold petals. That would be cool. That would be cool. All right, and you guys can go away. All right, let me farm up some more wood too while I'm waiting for this and we will be right back. All right, step one, obviously. is that and then we'll get a little of this as well and then while that's cooking let's get a uh so let's see the quests i just want to make sure i'm following them so that i get the rewards because that would be cool so hey i got some of that I'll, I'll collect that in a minute mana manifest that's what we're really working on and hey we got the uh the seeds for hexeri oh that's the one with the broom right yeah that's cool all right so i got my petal apothecary I got a white shimmering mushroom, which I'll turn into bone meal, I guess. Um, or white dye, actually. I, just, I don't think I need that. Uh, and then I want an endo flame. That's usually kind of like your best starter. And I'll put my little tiny potato over here to hang out. Hey, little buddy. Yay! All right, so then for you, we need two brown, red, and light gray. Which you would think I've memorized by now, but sometimes not so much. Two brown, red, and light gray. So basically, we want to dupe all these flowers as much as we can. And what I'm going to probably do... Well, no, I, yeah, I'll hang on to the pouch. I need the pouch. I, my inventory is enough of a mess that I'm going to need the pouch. There you go, and then I have to fish it out of the pouch. You, you, you can actually stay in there, and you. Oh, more bone meal, please. I should have some more. Yes. I've been getting it from the dust. Okay. 
And then the light gray and the brown, please. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. That should be a good start. Two brown, light gray, and boom. And then if I remember correctly, I can just right click with an empty hand and then that works, right? So I'll make a few of these and be right back. All right, so we've got eight of those now, which is cool. And then I can harvest you and you. And that's a good start. And then give me some more of this and we'll make another batch of these. Perfect. Now, let's grab some gold, if I remember correctly. And we're gonna want a spreader. Good, that recipe is the same. And a pool, man, a pool. Perfect. All right. So now, we should be able to do one, two, three, four. How about a three by three of them? Does that sound cool? I'll just need one more seed. Think I got seeds? I do. Inventory. Okay. There we go. And then the spreader, and then the pool, and then I should probably look at making a wand. Uh, unless I got one as a quest reward. Uh, so I got, hey, floating white flower and overgrowth seed. Overgrowth seeds are kind of nice. Uh, pure daisy, I get some of these rewards. That's cool. What did I get here? Some other kind of floating flower. Uh, I should probably make a chest for Batania. I should probably clean up my inventory again. All right, so overgrowth can go in there with the floating white flower, the extra petals. Um, for now, I'll put my flower pouch in there and my extra petals and then the floating pure daisy. Nice, that's a cool reward. Um, now uh, we wanted a petal I'm not going to want to run back and forth all the time. A wand of the forest. Does that sound cool? Uh, we'll make it red sound neat. So three of these. And there you go. Now you guys aren't bound, but if I pick you all up and place you back down, you should all be bound to the nearest spreader. Cool. And then we can go drop a bunch of coal on you, which we may not have as much coal as we think. It's all right, we'll manage. Um, I have, in fairness, been smelting up a lot of coal. But these nine should be enough. Perfect. And that gets everybody cooking. Nice. All right. Um, made a wand of the forest, so I get the Monoseer monocle, which just looks super cool. Makes me look very fancy. Hello. And, uh, also got from doing the mana pool a mana splitter. Uh, mana spreaders move mana and mana pools store it. A spreader will use an adjacent pool's mana if it has none. Uh, if a spreader is bound to a block that can hold mana and the spreader has mana, the spreader will shoot a mana burst at it. Okay. Might not be a terrible idea. Generally don't... I, I almost never use splitters. I almost never have a need for them. Because um, generally speaking, uh, by the time you need to move stuff around... I'm going to eat this just because I haven't eaten it yet. And it'll probably poison me, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to eat it on account of the fact that I hadn't yet. And get the... Get the thing... All right, 
coming back here, I uh, went ahead and planted a little tree farm uh, and then went AFK for a few minutes. I guess I should be really careful about vein mining with this Paxel because uh, I almost vein mined the dirt platform I'm standing on. That probably wouldn't have been good, right? And because it's a Paxel, it'll break very quickly. Like very quickly. And that would probably be bad for everybody involved. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. That should help me out both with food and with uh, other stuff. What do I get here? Oh, nourishment, look at me, all nourished and everything. All right, so replanting this dude. I also threw down a Feral Flare Lantern to keep things well lit. One, two, three, one, two, three. Well, I don't think we need to put this one there. This should be cool. There. That's how I had planted my farm and uh, basically had idled for long enough that it would grow a whole bunch. And the reason I did that is I would like more charcoal, if you don't mind. So let's just do half a stack here and half a stack here. Does that sound cool? Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, what can I smelt this with? Uh, how about some sticks? Sure. All right, now you should allow me to make at least a little bit of mana steel. How about, you think we can get four of them from that little bit of mana we produced so far? I doubt it. I doubt it highly, but maybe. Close. We got to three. That's not a bad start, right? Not bad at all. In a few seconds, we'll have more. So I think mana steel is always better than um, the not, right? So let's actually steal these guys back. I can get at least three of these meshes. And look, the fourth one popped up. Boom, quest complete, mana steel mesh. So mana steel, always better. By the way, I read in one of these chapters... Um, Somewhere in here I read that the, uh, this one here. Better meshes are integral progression. Every higher tier can get everything the previous tiers could, so there's no reason to keep old ones around. Cool? So 100% worth uh, just upgrading them and not worrying. Like I said uh, an episode or two ago, some packs make it so that you, you know, there's a reason to, to keep the old ones around. This pack is not like that. So... No sweat there. So now we have mana steel meshes, which is cool. And we can throw some dust in there. If I had some free dust. Boom, boom. Boom. And like I said, keeping andesite meshes around, not worth it. So goodbye, andesite meshes. And we can probably throw away some other junk that we may or may not need. Do I need this stone hammer anymore? We've automated hammering, right? It might be nice to hang on to, so I'll stick. I'll hang on to one. Uh, and then the same can be said probably for stone wand. Don't need him no more because I have a gadget. Cool. What else can I void for now? This bowl should be good. And then I'll hang on to you for food. Okay, looking pretty good, right? And I probably don't need this knife in my inventory anymore. This has become kind of like my miscellaneous modded items chest. So like any any items that are mod related can go in there. And since this is technically my Batania chest, that's where I'll put that guy. Cool. All right. Not a bad start to Batania, right? So with that said, how about we wrap up the episode here? Uh, we should be getting uh, some some Surtis quartz here. I can see it in the tooltip. See up at the top. Boom. Sort of squirts. 
So uh, with that said, you know, we're one step closer. Now, clearly I don't have any kind of RF power going on or anything yet, but I wanted to upgrade my meshes because I knew getting a mesh would be a good priority for me, okay? Uh, and then we can, we can accumulate a little bit of mana and that's cool stuff. Uh, so what should we do next? Should we, should we keep working towards Applied Energistics or is that like too aggressive to happen this early in the series? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I would like to set up a drawer system. We're going to need a lot more wood, but that's okay. My tree farm that I just set up over there should, uh, should help make that a reality for me. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Oh, yes. Looking good. Yeah, so I'll come up with an idea for what's next. Uh, if we can get into a platter logistics, cool. If it's a little bit too soon to do that, fine. We'll come up with something else to do. And then we'll uh, figure it out from there. For now, Delta 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and progress through the Skyblock pack. For now, take it easy. Ooh, we get blocked. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I'm going to go put that in my chest.